Hey everyone, it's James, also known as Flagman, and welcome to Pikmin Free Deluxe. So, before we begin, let me give you a bit of background. Pikmin first started development early on in a game called Adam and Eve, which was original, which was later reworked into Pikmin, as you guys all know. It also took heavy inspiration from the Super Mario 128 tech demo, and was released for in October 2001 in Japan and everywhere else as a GameCube launch title in November 2001 for North America and May 2002 in the rest of the world. Pikmin has gone to spawn two sequels, a spin-off title, a mobile app, and it hasn't really become one of Nintendo's most star franchises, but Shigeru Mimo has truly been the most proudest of this series. Anyways, enough diaddling, let's play Pikmin 3. And of course, there are three different difficulty levels. We got Normal, a sweet and frothy difficulty suit for any fan of the series, but especially beginners. We got Hard, advanced players might savor the sour tang of challenge on its difficulty, and Ultra Spice, a hard to summit difficulty tenant only for those who consider themselves paying connoisseurs. I'm not crazy enough to do Ultra Spicy. We're just gonna do Normal. We're just gonna get this show on the road, and I'm not gonna keep you guys waiting any longer. Update 20 XX. At the, At the far, far reaches, reaches of space, space lies, lies a planet, planet on the brink of ruin. The planet's name? Kopai. Oh, fun fact, Kopai is actually a, uh... Booming appetites and a basic lack of planning. Is a callback to Nintendo's founding name, Nintendo Karuta, or Nintendo Kopai. Their only hope is to find another planet with edible matter. Accordingly, they send unmanned scout vessels called sparrows out into space. To their dismay, the search is proving fruitless. <laughs> Good pun, Nintendo. Just as they're about to give up, the final vessel reports back with news of a miraculous discovery. They mobilized to investigate the planet, which they named PNF-404. Kopai's <laughs> last hope rests on three intrepid explorers. So we got Charlie, Brittany, and Alf. You just missed him, but you'll see him soon enough. At last, the explorer's 279,000 light-year voyage nears its end. As they initiate the landing sequence, something goes horribly wrong. Well, of course, it wouldn't be Pikmin if something didn't break up during launch. And by the way, I'm really excited to play this game because this year, Pikmin 4 is coming out. So I figured, let's get you guys all hyped for Pikmin 4. I'll play Pikmin 3 Deluxe on the Switch. <laughs> Man, I still remember today I got this Christmas morning, 2020. Expiration day 1, 0 0.844 AM, Charlie's crash site. Let's see what happens. What happened? Big. <laughs> I'm fully lonely here. Well, where am I? The well, last thing I remember was. When? Well, no. Oh, of course. This must be PNF 404. Sorry. Charlie the ship, Charlie the ship, do you copy? Ooh, this is your captain. Oh, I repeat, do you copy? Uh, Hello? Nah. Anyone? Oh, by the way, if you actually played this game on the Wii U, its original system, you'd actually use a gamepad to look at your co pad. So far. There is no response. Where's my ship? My crew! Alright. So that's Captain Charlie. I managed to escape unscathed. But what about the rest of the crew? They could be anywhere on PNF 404. I've got to find Alfred Brittany. I hope, I really hope they survived. Alright, so you're gonna move with the left stick. If you get stuck in the storm, I'll press up on the D-pad to view a strategy hint. You can hide them by going to more other settings and set hit display to off. And press plus to open 
options and view base information or go to other settings to change controls to your liking. I'm... We're going to close this. Before we get going, give me a minute to get set up. Control guide. I am playing with... I'm playing with normal controls. Uh, what in the... Those are Pikmin. I'll talk more about them later, though. There are more of them. So strange. At this planet's mushrooms are huge. I seem to have wandered into a strange neighborhood. Why are they coming closer? My whistle scared him off. I'm so oh, I'm surrounded. Maybe I should throw them. Oh. Oh, get away from me. Okay. Hmm. If you're hostile. So, let me get this straight. I can run at these creatures by pointing at them and pressing B and throw them with A. So you press B to blow the whistle and call Pikmin over. Hold B R to increase the whistle's range. Take aim with the left stick and press A to throw. Alright, I like controls, bet please. Maybe these fellows can be of some use. Wait, that's how it's done. I still have a row for my crew. It's very set to check my surroundings. I'm pressing that now, let me see what's in front of me. Did I miss any pigment before we keep going? It should be up ahead, I hope. Yeah, I was with yellow ones. So for those who've played... Look, there's even more of them. So for those of you who've played the original Pikmin on the GameCubes, you notice you don't start with the yellow ones, you actually start with the red ones. But I'll get to that later. If we get to them at all. Let's go. These guys sure are dedicated. Now let's keep going. Shouldn't be anything too bad here. Here goes. They look dangerous. Oh, that's great. What the? Charlie? I hope you can outlast that thing. Yep. I'm not hearing for him for a while. Alright. Expiration date 1, 0 0.46 a.m. Alps crash site. Alright, let's see what he's got. It just falls in the water. It's nice. Nice job breaking a hero. It's a miracle. I'm alive and somehow unharmed. This is Alf. Just as the SS Dyke was about to land, we lost control and had to make an emergency escape. During the chaos, I was separated from my other two team members as well as the ship itself. As the ship's engineer, it's up to me, Alf, to find both the SS Dyke and my crew members. Alright, let's go. And yes, before you ask, I of course will be doing the voices for characters. Just, you know, 
because Nintendo games don't usually do voice work a lot. What does that? You guys okay? It appears that the specimen I just spotted has company. And what's that stuck in that branch? Is there anything I can do? Welcome to the wild. Just need to throw one more? Nice! So, that guys is an onion. I was hoping that it was fruit, but it doesn't appear to be edible at all. Nevertheless, the head fellow is seeing quite pleased now that it's freed. Oh, wait a minute. I'm supposed to be looking for those two missing. Alright, so phase four was set out and look around with R. The AR stick is not going to work if the joy cons out sideways. Or trying playing with a regular wired third party remote, I got a game stop. What's this pile of fuffo? What are they doing? Okay. So they're going back to get more. All right, let's try it again. <laughs> Look at these little buddies, just working, uh, working and making my life easier. Sometimes you won't be able to use the right stick, though. I should let you guys know that. Oh, by the way, did anyone actually see those Pikmin short movies on YouTube that Nintendo put out a couple days before this game got released. The bridge is almost bit. My cup pad! Thank goodness I found it! I can use it to locate the SS Drake! Alright, so I need to... Oh. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna let the game take control now. Oh, we get the map now, nice. Great! It's the Vax! Of course I did get that and nothing less than Copaita Engineering. I'll check my surroundings by scrolling through the Copad screen. Alright, so to use a rare, you check your you use the lesson to check your surroundings. Wonderful! The bridge is complete! There's the Drake! They should follow that signal. Use that to scroll. Where's that? Aha! Uh -huh. The asset strike isn't that far from here. Maybe the other two current members are there as well. I best said that direction. Now that we can start exploring with the help of the copad, use the radar to check the map and the camera to take photos. So when you use a camera, you activate your camera via the Maya's copad to snap a photo. I'm not gonna do it right now. Right now, what I'm focusing on is where my tiny adorable plant like creatures go. Oh, there you guys are. Be very careful with these guys. You do not want to lose them. It would be very bad if you lost them. Is that a red thing? Wood? Or not. What is this enormous thing? The drag must be somewhere on the other side of it. So, as you bring pallets to the onion, they will sprout up and produce more Pikmin. 
that thing is popping out some sort of sprouts. So those are red Pikmin. They're the strongest of all the Pikmin types, and they can resist fire. Ah, I see. So this is how these little creatures propagate. How incredibly fascinating. So you press A to put nearby Pikmin sprouts, and you press B to cancel. Oh, and it auto plots for you. It's very nice. Because they're not going to play a lot of Pikmin a lot. All right, so our goal by the end of this episode. Ah! Better have my army go after them. Right. Just be careful. If your Pikmin die, if your Pikmin get hit by an enemy, they will die. And it's not going to look pretty if they die. Alright. Also, I don't get why this onion is called an onion. It looks more like a uh, strawberry than an onion. Alright, you guys can get going. Alright, one more. I'll come back for the rest. Right now, I'm going to need you guys to go over here. And I need y'all. Wow, this one is huge. Look on this Z iron aim. I gotta say, I really like Pikmin's theme of teamwork. Because alone, these Pikmin can't do much. But together, look at what these guys can do. They seem to be doing pretty well. I'll leave you be. Just after you guys get back. Alright. I got an army right now. Alright, let's go. I need to do something about that thing that's in the way. Well, watch. You know, as I, I said this once and I'll say it again, I really enjoy Pikmin's motif of teamwork because, look, alone the Pikmin can't do much, but together, they can move that box. What's that? It looks like someone's left a data file here. Perhaps the copad will be able to read it. The onion is like a nest for the Pikmin. It gives both birth to them and provides them with shelter. That's an excellent. The Copac can read the data file, so these creatures are called Pikmin. This information might come in handy later on. I'll save them the Copac's explanation notes. Nice, but I don't need it right now. I need to find a way to get on my ship. I don't think Captain Charlie wrote this data file, so who did? Could there be other intelligent life forms on this planet? I don't know. Find out soon enough. But let's keep going. The kinds of radar that Drake should be through here. Alright, next up we're moving through the caves. And our data file. Change the radar's orientation and other settings in the options menu. Wow, those are massive, but they don't look edible. It's just gonna attack, or are we gonna keep going? Who bid this battle here? More signs of intelligent life? Now they got time to press X to perform a charge attack. Look at those buddies go. Man. That's pretty easy. My crew will learn a lot from this kind of teamwork. I hope the Drake is okay.
Now if he is the vessel strike. Spud isn't picking up any signs of life in the immediate area. What am I supposed to do now? Is that what I... The incoming transmission. What could it be? As it's me, Brittany, dear copy. Thank goodness. You're with the SS tank, right? Right? I made it through the landing in one piece. The thing is, I'm trapped somewhere. <laughs> and I'm stuck! Oh no, we better go save her. Oh no, we got cut off. I wonder how far away Brittany is. But the the very least, I fancy that she appears to be safe and sound. Alright. What's that strange sound? The sun is shining, which could mean that nocturnal predators are starting to wake up. I should probably get off the planet's surface for now. Alright, let me give you a good warning. Do not leave any Pikmin behind. Or they will get eaten by the night creatures. Man, this game feels like a good testament to see if you're a good parent. Alright. And I'm going to be skipping the launch sequence each time. Oh, the onion follows me. It's very nice and convenient. Gotta be some fruit around here somewhere. Lots of the supplies we brought across in a couple of the time the crash landing. So I now only have three days worth of available provisions left. So the amount of time you can spend here on Kopai depends on how much food you have left. Time tomorrow I have to find some local food. Alright. So you get a progress report on how each day went. You can review your the replay with the uh, with that button to fine tune your strategy. Like I said, pins are real time strategy, and we're gonna call it a game here. Let's click next, and we are going to have this file written by Al. We're shipwrecking on this planet. Some creatures called Pikmin help me find the SF Trike, but our cosmic Trike key is nowhere to be found. We won't be going anywhere without that. Luckily, I made contact with Brittany, and we set out to find it tomorrow. When I took off in the ship, the onion took flight as well. Odd but amazing. Alright, that's gonna do it for this episode. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you next time.